I loved Disney's Mulan when I was a little kid. And even though I'm now a full grown adult, I'll admit it, I'm pretty hyped about the live action version too. I expect action, singing, dragons, and now is as good a time as any for me to do some research on the gems and minerals of Mulan's China. But before I jump in, you know what I want? Ring that bell. Clicking on the bell means you'll stay notified about all of our new videos, and isn't that great? So Mulan, is she fact or fiction? Well, she's considered to be more of a legendary figure, like King Arthur, than a person who actually lived, like me. The story of Mulan comes from the period in Chinese history known as the Northern and Southern Dynasties, which lasted from 386 to 535 AD, around 1500 years ago. Her stories are set in the Northern Wei Empire, a time and place of intense cultural change. Mulan, like her father, is a warrior and took his place in the army to protect her homeland from nomadic invaders. There are slight variations on the story throughout the years, as it was told and retold throughout Chinese history. There are even other live action Mulan movies like 1939's Mulan Joins the Army and a later Hong Kong film called Lady General Hua Mulan. Of course, Mulan's cultural reach now extends far past China. She's famous in the West and even in outer space. There's a crater on Venus named after her. During the time Mulan was written, the Northern Wei Empire was greatly influenced by Central Asia and India thanks to extensive trade along the North Silk Road. One massive influence in this era was the growth of Buddhism. Take a look at the Young Gun Grottoes, Buddhist temples near the city of Datong. There are 252 caves and niches, all over 51,000 statues, carefully carved from sandstone. Sandstone is a sedimentary rock composed of sand-sized grains of, well, stone. Clever name, huh? Often banded in appearance, sandstone is one of the most common types of sedimentary rock and is found throughout the world. These grottos were constructed during the same era of the Mulan story. The deeper caves and niches have survived centuries of weathering and are still vividly painted. On a smaller scale, we have these gilt bronze Buddha statues. The more complicated piece is dated to the year 524 and depicts a celestial scene where the Buddha descends from the heavens down to earth. In archeological news, a 1500 year old tomb near Datong in China yep, the same city as the grottos, was excavated in 2011. We actually know exactly who was buried here, thanks to a preserved stone epitaph near the entrance. She was Han Farong, and her husband was a magistrate. As you'd expect of an ancient high-status lady, she was buried in some very fine jewelry. These golden earrings feature a human figure flanked by dragons on either side. Incredibly cool. Plus, amethyst teardrop gems. The sides of the earrings were just as intricate and impressive. Three golden ornaments appeared on each side, inlaid with small gems and gold chains dangling down the sides. She was also buried wearing a necklace. The string holding it all together decomposed at some point over the past 15 centuries and left behind were 5,000 teeny weeny, mostly green and black beads. Because the beads were basically set down in their original location, specialists were able to reconstruct what the necklace looked like. Segments of all green and all black connected every few inches by larger ornamental beads. But wait, Mulan is a warrior. Guys, it's time to talk about weaponry. There are two main types of swords from Chinese history, the Jian and the Dao. The Jian is a double-edged straight sword, and the Dao is a single-edged sword with a curve similar in appearance to a saber. Other valuable weapons were the Qiang, a spear, and the gun, a staff. The Dao was popular in the battlefield in Mulan's era because it was easier to slice and dice from a horseback. The movies typically show double-edged swords in use, as well as wavy gravy swords that I'm pretty sure were never used in ancient China or anywhere else for that matter. On the battlefield, Mulan would have used steel weapons that were a fusion of wrought iron and cast iron. A famous metallurgist from the Northern Wei era named Chu Hai Wen was said to have invented this process. What is your reflection show? Tell us in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the links too for more information on today's topics. Thanks for watching. Oh.